three ways you can own a business do you want to have your own business then you should know that there is more than one way to achieve this goal starting your own business from scratch is probably what you only have in mind when it comes to becoming an entrepreneur this is the first way on this list but there are of course two more ways you should also consider success lovers and financial independence seekers you are welcome back to device coaching on youtube three ways you can own a business the first way you can own a business is to build the business from scratch this first option is what most people assume as the only way to have a business and that is to build one on your own admittedly this is the best option for me well because you are in full control and you have the power to operate the business in any way you like it is probably the reason why i say i prefer this however in some cases this becomes a disadvantage especially when you don't have enough experience like some of us in managing your own business that is because this route will require a lot of your time and energy this option is heavily loaded with planning and learning by trial and error it can be lonely and often stressful but it is always glorious when you are able to succeed the second way you can own a business is to buy one this second option can be accomplished in three ways first is through buying an existing business secondly by getting a franchise and thirdly by becoming a shareholder buy an existing business this is as simple as it sounds you purchase an existing business and take over as the new owner you gain full control but you will have to initially work with its current operations if the business has been doing good then there isn't much to be done but oftentimes there is a problem you will need to fix so you have to get ready for this because if the business wasn't running smoothly then why will it be sold in the first place so be ready to dedicate most of your time and energy to manage the business when you plan to buy a business get a franchise getting a franchise is advantageous for those who don't have the experience or don't have time to learn how to run a business while this is the most expensive among all possible options it has nevertheless the highest rate of success according to studies because what you are getting is a time tested business model with market validated products and services additionally the franchiser will be there to help you as a business partner a mentor and or a consultant along the way being a shareholder while this is more often defined as an investment it is nevertheless a legitimate way to become an owner of a company however as a small investor you will have very little to no control over the business operations unless you have the right amount of capital to buy a majority shareholding in that company or a significant portion of the shares of that company buying shares of a company is often most conveniently done through the stock market just open an account with a stockbroker deposit funds in it and you are ready to become a part owner of a publicly listed company such as gcb ghana gcb bank ghana limited mtn ghana among others when you lack time and adequate business capital Putting your money in the stock market is a viable option in becoming a business owner. The third is to rent a business. Yes, I mean is to rent a business. Yes, it is possible to rent a business and you probably know about it but didn't quite think of it that way. Renting a business is what you do when you join a network marketing or multi-level marketing company. Thus, when someone asks you 
if you are open-minded to doing business, they are not lying, it is true. All legitimate network marketing companies sell a tangible product, just like a traditional business. More importantly, you must be able to earn without recruiting anyone because you can simply sell their products for profit, just like a traditional business does. However, when you recruit somebody to join your team, then it is similar to how traditional businesses expand through franchising. You are selling a franchise of your business to someone who is willing to duplicate what you are doing. Furthermore, all legitimate network marketing companies have a monthly quota. This is a non-negotiable minimum amount of product that you must buy from the company to continue earning. To use an analogy based on traditional businesses, that monthly quota is the rent. Meanwhile, the joining fee that you paid at the start is the business capital. And if when you want to close the business, then it is usually as simple as choosing to stop paying the rent and then forget about it as you move towards other ventures. My final thoughts are that owning a business is always risky, but the rewards are great if you manage to succeed. There will be failures in all the other options, but they all come with valuable learning experiences. So given the three ways to own a business, which among them do you like best? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button below and smash the notification bell. So you will always be alerted when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I am Kulbiwai. See you in my next video.